looking at angles and naming and classifying them. When you have an angle, it's made up of two edges called rays. Rays have a defined starting point, but then they can continue on forever in one direction. The point where your rays meet is called your vertex. From there, if you need to name the angle, you can name it by its letters, angle A, B, C, or we could go the other way and call it angle C, B, A. If the angle's by itself, we could even shortcut it and simply name it by its vertex of just angle B. When think about angles, most of us picture a right angle. A right angle, like angle D, E, F, is a 90 degree angle. Usually you can tell it's a right angle by the box it's labeled with in the corner. All right angles will always measure 90 degrees. When we look at angle G, H, I, we can see that it's less than 90 degrees. This means angle G, H, I is an acute angle because acute angles measure less than 90. Angle J, K, and L we can see goes beyond that 90 degree mark. Since angle J, K, and L is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees, it's considered an obtuse angle. Obtuse angles fall between 90 degrees and 180 degrees. When we hit 180 degrees like we have with angle M, N, O, we have a straight angle. All straight lines are 180 degrees, so they are all considered to be straight angles. Angle P, Q, R looks like it could be an acute angle, but we can see it's measured around the outside edge. That means it goes beyond 180 degrees and it's a reflex angle. Reflex angles measure between 180 and 360 degrees. The best way to identify them is to look for their label on the outside edge. Now that we know about the different types of angles, we can move on to drawing and measuring them. Mm -hmm.